light balance is off, but I think I'm as level as I can get this my stuff to be today. Um, yeah, someone please come and set my settings for me. I don't want to be educated, I just want to have my settings set. Cześć, siema, nekleci, adhia, on another May Sunday morning. Weather is kind of this weird sort of weather when it's not bad, but it's also not nice. Just this kind of undecided weather. And I just... Uh, um, I think the thing I will do after this stream, I'll go right back to bed. Um, either to watch some more telly or play some games, because I just can't be... I just can't be my human today. Sorry, guys. Um... Before that though, a little branch, a little... I might cook it. I think it is crooked. Don't. Yeah, I'm not going... I'm sorry if it, um if I'm like, like not level here. But if I try to move my cam anymore, it just go... Even worse. So, um, yep. Um, anyway, another branch. Uh, something to give me energy to su survive this day. Um, and today is something you voted for in the um, Twitter poll, but also something that um, I really look forward to today because this <laughs> um, should be quite a comforting meal, I think, um, given the mains and this pack. Um, so just a short intro, this is... Um, SRG6 uh, Individual Narracja Żywnościowa One DOS here uh, means it's one day worth of food for one soldier um, and basically this is what you know Polish soldiers would get for the day if they were in the field and with no access to field kitchens or to mess uh, the writing as for all NATO countries comes in our language in Polish, um, in French and in English as well. And the contents of this bag are divided into three ma three meals, A, B and C. And also there's all sorts of um, supplementary items, snacks and stuff like that. Um, if you see the date on here, that's expiration date, it's best before, um, to the right there's the batch number, so it was made in, I believe it would be 6th of um, December 2019, so it's good till December 27th, 2021, a bit past best before, but I, on this particular case I don't care about it, uh, it's parked by Muscle Clicks, um, like this and the Arvo are two companies providing for the Polish army that I know of. Um, other information on the bag, it gives you storage conditions and that you would need a hundred, um, 1.75 litres of water, almost 2 litres of water for that. Half a gallon I think that would be more or less. Um, so yeah. I know what the de general composition of the Russian would be because they um they always start the same. You got tea. Oh, I need a knife. Sorry. Uh, because um, unlike. American Russians, we don't have, you know, pillable seal. Um, but like the general composition of this Russians follows always the same pattern. You get two kinds of mains, you get two kinds of some sort of um, meat product like luncheon meat or pate. Um, you get crisp bread, you get a hot tag, you get jam, honey, drinks, snacks. So let's, without further ado, let's 
Let's see if I can get them all out. That's all that came in the bag. Quite a nice pile of stuff. Um, there's like a content sheet. This one's in Polish only. Um, tells you, you know what comes with what meal and how much water you need for um, each item. I'll keep that on hand for now. Um, a lot of this stuff, like, you know, cups or utensil sets, um, if, okay, and all of this is from the stories I hate, okay, I, I get no, thank God I have no, uh, I don't need to get really experience, but, um, if you get this kind of package before going out, you most probably leave stuff like this behind because it's take, it takes space in your backpack. Um, it takes weight, it might be not much, but after a day it all adds up and you just keep what's really necessary in it. But still, um, if you use these rations you know, from a second hand market for traveling, for hiking, for any kind of um, outdoors activity, um, these are nice. I know by now that the caps. Okay, there you go. Um, okay, these are these are old design, but new 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 caps. Um, they like are fully recyclable. Um, so hopefully we will switch to better utensils at some point too. But that's what you get. Um, three sets of utensils. Um, there's more cups with some extras inside. We'll open it in a moment. There's two packs of Suhari Speciale or you know hot packs. Uh, there's two packs of crisp bread and it's a right crisp bread of packs. So I got a little bit of sniffles today. Um, we got two bags of uh, isotonic drink and as usual they're both lemon. Um, Freeze red fruit mix. These like these are like staples and they never change and oh okay this can wait. This beauty. Uh, a full hundred bar of dark chocolate. <laughs> um 60% so it's quite a nice chocolate tea. Um kinda makes you happy because when you when you think about like a French, you get these tiny little bars. Which may add up to 50 grams, maybe. Nah, go, you know, go, 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 how much chocolate? Um, which, besides, you know, giving you sugars and boosting your mood, also get like magnesium and other stuff good for your brain and for your performance. So, there's that. Um, okay, so we got hot chocolate, orange flavored. Um, and then we got. <coughs> Three baggies of instant tea drink. Uh, two of them are lime flavored with green tea extract, and the last one is just lemon flavored. Nice, nice. Today, um, I really appreciate those choices. Um, they, these are two basic flavors. Other two that I came across are raspberry or wild berries. These are. Much nicer, I think. Um, then we got fruit and cereal bar, cranberry flavor. Um, and it seems I'm striking it out today because, again, cranberry, mm, top points for me. This is the weird bar that no one wants. <laughs> um, it's like a weird mix of cereal in ganache and then um, raspberry jelly and then chocolate. And such a weird mix of textures and non flavors that um, I don't know why it's still in this pack. I like, I mean, it probably gets you know stashed and brought home because I can't imagine. 
And then we get as I said, we get a little container of um, honey. And ooh, it's partially still liquid, nice. And then we get a little container of strawberry jam, high sugar content. Um, it's very hard to find high sugar jams on the store shelf these days. Like, you know, someone decided sugar is all bad for you. So they all are um, low sugar. Uh, and as I said, then we... Okay. Um, there's the... Wojskowy zestaw do gotowania i podgrzewania posiłków or military kit for cooking and heating meals. Um, which I won't be using today because um, I'm indoors. Um, and even though I could probably uh, create, you know, fire using conditions, oh, it's not too smart today. Um, so we get this, get this little trash bag. Um, this stove, um, you would fold it, like two sides go up, two sides go down, one can all go up. I uh, put a fuel tablet inside, light on fire, put a can on top. Um, red container is solid fuel tabs. Uh, does it tell you what it's using? It's methanamine. Yeah, of course it comes with all sorts of warnings um, to keep away from your eyes that is highly flammable and stuff. And they smell a bit actually too, so I was using today. And the other kit um, got a bit stuck inside. Um, we got through, um, they call it waterproof so matches then we get a box of just your regular safety matches um, and this thing is a nice little gizmo for um, picking up your can from the fire um, you can fold it in Made like a okay, let me just take this off. I can make like this kind of handle, or you can make it more like okay, this one doesn't work today for me, but yeah, or more like a triangle. But yeah, that's the idea. Um, it is fiddly but uh, better than putting hot can over the fire with your bare hands yeah, but that's what you get in this sort of um, military kit for cooking and heating meals so yeah um, as I said it's not using this today I'm putting this aside and now for a can since we got this one um Gulasz angielski, so um, um, how would they? Okay, they call it English stew. Kind of works. Um, basically, it's a um, basically it's a pork based uh, meat conserve. It's just um, pork meat starch, salt, white pepper, and then some preservatives. So we get that. Um, then we got pastet z drobiem, or pate with poultry. Um, what that means, we've got 40% pork meat, 80% turkey meat, uh, and then all sorts of Fats and skins from both pork and chicken added, and livers, of course. Nice, nice. I do like the flavor of this. Um, these are much nicer than plain pork or plain poultry pates, in my in my opinion. Um, then we got our two mains. This one, this one is what I'm really looking forward to trying today. Uh, fasola po uh, It's one of those things when you get 
a meal named after a certain geographical area, like this is beans, Breton style, like that region in France. Uh, though I would, I would bet they never heard of that in Britain. And I'm sorry if I mispronounced the region. <laughs> Uh, basically, it's white beans, like kidney beans, with some sausage, sometimes with bacon, sometimes with meat, and in tomato sauce. Um, so imagine Heinz's baked beans, just using bigger beans and being more savory than sweet. Um, my dad, um, he used to work railroads, and um, because the shifts took sometimes 12 hours or longer, they would get issued um, where they make meals, you know, to, 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 um, uh, to keep them going. They rarely ate them, you know, having their own lunches packed. Um, but he would use, he would, he, he used to bring jars of fasola for Bretonsku home, and um, I loved that shit as a kid. So we'll see if this lives up to my um, expectations. And the other meal, um, is pulpette of social pomodoro oven so meatballs um oh nice and this is actually a mix of pork shoulder and beef shoulder uh for the meatballs it's in uh, tomato sauce again with baggies like carrots um carrots onion, um, parsley, like parsley root, and then unidentified dried vegetables. Curious, curious, no idea what that would be. Um, but yeah, got meatballs in tomato sauce. And now we know what I meant by this will be a comfort meal. No beans and meatballs and lots of tomato sauce. Okay, so the 24 ration comes with it assumes you have nothing on you and you need to survive um, you just need to scrunch up some water yourself so we would get four cardboard caps um, they got a little recycling notes on them but uh, newer ones are made from different uh, different material I think they're even better not less harmful for the environment um, I got three vitamin C candy called Dicky and they're all different flavors so we got cherry we got orange and we got apple so a little something to keep you happy as you go through the day um, we got three coffee candy called coffee and they do contain coffee extract um, so if you need a little boost but don't have time or means or you're not in a situation you can make a cuppa this will pick you up two I'm pretty sure they're free as well um, okay that's yeah um, so we got three pieces of xylitol chewing gum uh, they're mint, but they don't specify what kind of mint actually. That's mint. Got two tiny packs of salt and two tiny packs of pepper. Yeah, hot sauce is not really, I think, important, just in case you wonder. Um, got two portions of instant coffee, one proper sachet of white sugar, 10 grams. Uh, because basically you'd only use that for coffee if you want. Tea is already sweetened enough as it is. Uh, you get three wet wipes. Uh, oh, okay, these are nice. You get more Ziploc baggies. And I appreciate them being Ziplocs. There's one... Okay, so there's like two Ziploc baggies. Like, let's say... You start on this in the morning, you eat one meal and then you pack the rest of stuff however you want into baggies or you know keep one bag for the leftovers and the other for the trash so don't leave the trash behind. It's another one of these flimsy bags and then we got a pack of bum ration or toilet paper uh, which can also double up as you know napkin or 
something to put under your food if you're in a situation when it's all nasty and dirty and gross. Which is appreciated, I must say. Okay, but we won't be using that today. Um, and, you know, the bags came with rubber band, which may be of use at some point as well. And we won't be using the utensils as well, so those all go aside. Uh, now, as I said, we get the meal heating kit, <coughs> which I don't want to use today because fire and that peel, the, the tablets are really smelly. Um, one other way you could heat up the cans is just open it up take the lid off because lid is to you know, preserve the food for later uh, put that into a pot of boiling water leave it for like 10 minutes done and get hot meal um, if you're home you can easily scoop that out into any sort of pot hit it on the knob um, put in a bowl put it into microwave which I would probably do if I had a microwave as it is I don't feel like using my kitchen right now um, so we'll be eating this cold today um, you didn't miss much, my love. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, I've just took out all the stuff. We're doing Polish washing today. Um, so I'll be eating this cold, which is a legit way to eat those meals. They are um, prepared to be eaten as is. Uh, they might just not taste as nice. Um, I will enjoy them warm later during the week. My lunch is though, so I'll have a proper opinion there. For now, though, um, let's just see how it is suggested we separate all this stuff into meals okay so meal a which you would assume would be probably like a breakfast <coughs> something to start you on in the morning um, so start your day with some pate and then the beans 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 nothing like beans um some honey um Lemon flavored tea, hot chocolate. Yeah, that's that, that's that's my kind of day. That's how the day should start. And then a pack of crisp bread. And that is a nice combo, I must say. Yeah, I I, I could get behind that, absolutely. Uh, then for meal B, which would be like your dinner or lunch, uh, midday kind of meal, is what I mean. I would get your pulpette or your meatballs. You'd get some hot tack, both packs actually, they, they, they suggest with that. Um, they suggest you have your isotonics during that time of day. And uh, freeze red fruit for dessert. Okay, uh, I'm not a fan of those, you get a couple packs <laughs> left over from before, but um, I might have to get to them eventually. And then meal C, so supper or evening kind of meal. I'd get the other pack of crisp bread with the English stew, some jam for nice sandwiches. Yeah, okay, okay, I I I, I like that. Uh, and then a double portion of your um, green tea, lime flavored tea concentrate. Okay, um, actually I think the, all the meals are <coughs> quite nicely set up kind of balanced um, they really feel like meals you know we got old stuff and yes chocolate candy and and the bars are on the side for when you um, feel like having them uh, so I think as usual we start with making drinks let me just reorganize the desk a bit uh, we won't need one of the crisp packs because why just one is enough. Sorry if that makes noise for you, but um, tossing it down is the only option I have right now. Um, okay, so one is the tonic, one tea drink go off. Ah, that's a dessert. We got coffee. Um, okay, we got isotonic. We got two tea drinks. We got coffee and we got chocolate. Don't have enough glasses. Taking bets now. And if you wonder, um, they suggest 
150 ml or 5 ounces for chocolate and the rest of the drinks are for 250 ml yeah like this uh, on the very bottom of the page it gives you the instructions of how much water to use and how to heat up your food okay 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 Okay, I think I got enough containers and uh, hopefully my water is still hot enough. Um, so these tea drink concentrates, instant tea drinks, um, <laughs> we used to call them children's tea when I was a kid um, because it does have some tea content but not high enough and because it dissolves completely, um, it doesn't, like when I was a kid, um, you could get the, the, the tea bags but they were not popular you just get um, loose black tea and it would leave all the bits in your glass and no kids wanted that so um, okay this one is lime with green tea and this one is lemon um, you can make them with hot or cold water depending if you want warming up or um, repression drink they usually dissolve better with hot water though well and that's my kettle coming on just in time just in time um, you can see these look like little pellets and as a kids we would just eat them dry too so um, of course we got some hot chocolate 150 meals orange flavored yeah, um, I know different countries put hot chocolate drinks in the Russians, but so far Polish and British are long in between. King. Um, Polish and British are my favorite ones. Not just your cocoa. Ah, smells lovely though. Uh, and then we get coffee. It's for 250 meals. Um, we got no cream as you as you noticed, which I consider a valid choice uh, because crema being a milk product, you know, one even putting um, lactose intolerances aside, uh, milk powder spoil easily. Um, and for the Russians, you want stuff that will keep even outside the recommended uh, storage conditions. Um, and if you don't use actual milk for your for your crema, you end up with this weird vegetable-based stuff that doesn't dissolve and just doesn't taste as nice. So uh, I can get behind black coffee. And yes, I'm adding a whole pack of sugar to it because that's that's how I take my coffee if I take it. Black as sin, sweet as no, black as night, sweet as sin, or something to that tune. I don't know. Uh, coffee, and then one last drink would be um, the isotonic, which can be mixed straight in the bag. Uh, recommended daily portion four sachets one portion each 20 to 30 minutes of um, exertion I think let's call it 250 meals drink in immediately after making yeah um, I'm not a fan of those I have to get all the powder down. Um, 
because it's supposed to you know re replenish not just your energy it's not like an energy drink but also your salts and minerals um i just can't get behind the flavor of it it's just so not my thing meals yeah oh we feel that so we have to um, like my glass is about 250 meals but yeah since we can mix it straight in the pouch oh okay it's got gas at the bottom so that will do see everyone everyone knows how to make um gasseted pouches for the drink bags beside americans like with the money they put into r d of the army stuff can they just figure that one out <laughs> like why it's a small thing but it <clears throat> makes a world of difference okay so we'll shake And I think the cam went um, crooked again. Don't get. Okay. So this is the lemon hydrotonic, we call it. It's a tonic drink. Oh yeah. It's 250 to the brim. Uh, a little bit of powder still left on the bottom, but I just don't care. I can't care about this drink anymore. Uh, okay. That's better. Yeah, sorry about blocking the vision but okay I don't have enough hot water for both teas so I will mix that with some cold water I'll be using the um, Australian spoon because it's just so nice. Give it all a little stir. It's coffee. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate today. Now if I if I if I um decided to warm up the meals, can you imagine how awesome of a meal that would be on a cold, foggy, gloomy day? Something about beans and tomato. Um, that feels very, very comforting. It doesn't even need meat. Okay. Licking spunky. As I said. Um, the tea pellets um, dissolve better in hot water. And, like, technically, you could drink it like this, but I prefer it a bit less concentrated. So um, let's fill it up to 250, more or less. That'll do. That'll do. Okay. drinks um, here comes the tray I know you were waiting for this okay. it's a tray let's start with the bread items okay so we got the Suhara Speciano hot tax um, 
they survive everything. Um, and yeah, they're hard, but they're not very bad. Um, they get worse, in my opinion, if you leave them outside, because they instantly um, absorb any moisture from the air, and then that nice hardness turns into some sort of weird cross between hard and chewable. And it becomes just a bloody mess. Um, okay. So we got um, fruit and cereal bar, cranberry flavor. With the usual, for a couple now, couple of years now, warning that the white stuff is edible. Um, this is basically a starch base, like a rice flour base, kind of wafer. It means, um, as you can see, there's no stickiness. Um, even if you were to take that into a very hot situation uh, where all the sugars go melty and normally this bar would stuck to everything, including the package, this very thin layer of wafer protects that from sticking to packages, from sticking to your fingers. Um, very small thing, but achieves a lot actually. So you got the weird cereal, cereal um, jelly bar. Um, let's have a piece of the crisp bread. Now I'll admit rye isn't my favorite crisp bread. Uh, I much prefer it's like a mix or corn based one. Uh, but also because this particular crisp bread is very thick. It is useful um, for bringing stuff to you, um, for, for putting stuff, ah, for transporting jam or honey or whatever else to your mouth. Uh, it doesn't have strong flavor on its own, uh, but that's because thick it doesn't create a very nice mouth also. Um, yeah. Uh, also, it provides a lot of fiber, you know, to keep you regular. <laughs> so we get some honey. And we got some strawberry jam. I find the lip here. Um, and I know jelly jam, and there's probably one more. And depending on the country they use, they 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 they're similar fruit-based products, just you know named differently. Um, and yeah, this is this is a very smooth kind of jam, closer to jelly almost. Okay, dry fruit. Okay, we got um, the small. Can you get out? Thank you. Uh, so we got 50 grams of freeze red food. Uh, it's equal, Emma, equal, equal ratios of pineapple, strawberry, apple, banana, and cherry. Um, yeah, and banana comes from Philippines. No, no, uh, pineapple comes from Philippines. Banana is from Guatemala. The rest of the stuff is local. Um, you can snack on it, or you can um, add water to the pouch. Eat it rehydrated. Um, you can even boil it in water and end up with a drink. So, you, know. you got options. Um, and a chocolate bar, huge portion chocolate bar. Um, yeah, one downside would be you have to stash it somewhere on you after you open the pack. Um, yeah, I'm not putting all of it on the on the tray because there's just no point. But uh, you got a full size chocolate bar. Let's, let's just imagine that. Um, okay. 
Okay, let's do it like this. So you can see all the stuff. There's the candies and chewing gum and all the salt and pepper if you need it. And time to get into the most important stuff, like the actual, because this is all sides, okay? This is all um, extras. English stew. Um, I'm pretty sure we had it before, and I don't imagine, I don't remember how and if I enjoyed it. So that's that's gonna be fun. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Very clean, meaty smell. And then you know you get your lid if you don't finish it up. Uh, yes, they, they they recommend you don't keep it on for longer than two hours, but. Um, you know, fridge, they can, it can last longer than that. Um, Pity Pate doesn't have this kind of lid. Mmm, okay. That smells even more meaty. I, I, I guess that's the um, liver smell. Very nice, very, very nice. Uh, okay, let's check the mains then. As I said, we're eating them cold today. Which won't be as enjoyable as hot, but it will still do. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mmm, -hmm. the smell. Even cold, it smells absolutely bonkers. Like, oh. mm. <clears throat> yeah, like the sausage smell from this and the bacon. It doesn't smell, it doesn't look that good, I can imagine for you. Um, and yes, that is um, quite a chunk of fat on the, on the edge of it. I'm going to scoop up some sausage as well. Um, the sauce is very thick, as you can imagine, because it's cold. So warmed up, it would loosen a little bit. Get nice slices of sausage too. Okay. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to get it all out on the tray because I just love this this bit today. Let's see if I can dig out a little bit of bacon. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of meat to it and a little bit of fat. I should only get out what I can eat today, so rest of the season can. Gets covered with the lid and come back up a la later. And then we got the meatballs in tomato sauce. So my one issue with these mains is that um, they usually consist of meat and sauce and uh, there's no starch included. On one hand, um, it means the starch won't get overcooked, uh, but sometimes the hard tack or the crisp bread um, doesn't really hit the spot. Kind of makes you want to have something different, a little bit of pasta, a little bit of rice, maybe um, with beans. You don't have that issue because beans are starchy enough, uh, but like meatballs in the sauce. Um, once you take out the meatballs, you sometimes don't feel like finishing up the sauce, which is oh, they're big. Okay, there's like four meatballs in this, so. Cut one out and get three more like this, and the rest of it is sauce. Um, you eat out your meatballs from the sauce, um, and what then you do with the fluid? Do you drink it up? These don't really soak it up that nicely. There is idea behind this, um, it just sometimes feel other countries can do it a bit better. Okay.
moist towelette or wet wipe be fresh yes i intend to be fresh i'm going to clean my oh nice um lemony smell to it i'm going to wash my hands clean my hands and clean my spoon so i don't mix the flavors um okay i think i'm going to need a little bit of a knife maybe we'll use a fork let's see but yeah i just i just i just love my um I love this set of utensils. It's really, really useful. I don't think I'll... Okay, that's not from this. Okay, so... This is what the contents of the um, SRG 6 or Polish 24-hour Russian menu number 6. Daily Russian. So let's say meal A. Um, let's start the day with the lemon flavored tea drink. Cheers. Na zdrowie. Mm. Bit of tea, bit of lemon. Um, I made warm, so it's very nice. Just red temperature. Just to start you off, just to get you going. Uh, to do the, during the day. Um, okay. And the suggested combo is we get crisp bread and some honey let's have something sweet because you know you never know if you live long enough and I don't mean in the army just in general so it's like um, still liquid on top crystallized on the bottom and I keep repeating this and I will keep repeating this Honey doesn't go bad. Um, if it crystallizes, it just means the sugar crystallized. Put it in the warm water and it will dissolve back again. Or you can just enjoy the extra crunch. <laughs> mm. Nice and simple. Mixed flower honey. I mean, if you're into that, you can put honey in your coffee. Um, you can use it to sweeten your tea. Um, I think you've also got some um, antibacterial properties, so you know, if you cut yourself, I don't recommend it, but it's been known to be working, I think. Um, what else we get with the, with the breakfast? We get pate. Oh, yeah. Yes, please, ma'am. Look how smooth it is. Um, yeah, that's one thing I really appreciate about uh, pâtés we get in Central and East European Russians. Pâté is how I like it. Very smooth. Like French get pâtés, but they get a very coarse grind. This is this is just. Oh, sorry about the light bonus today. This is just beautiful pate. Mm. And some nice delicious. meaty you can taste the liver like that um i am flavor i think call it it's a bit pepper too um i shouldn't be doing this because there's all other stuff to try but i just mm. My hands are still sticky from the honey. Mm. This pate, this pate. Um, I keep trying to find that stores because it's just like the perfect combo of smoothness of flavors. Mm. Okay, okay. I, I'm about to get into indecent sounds. 
So we'll leave pate for later, but top point for the pate for me. And then for breakfast, uh, we get the beans. As I said, nice chunks. That's not the very best close up. There's some chunks of sausage, a bit of bacon, a bit of beans. Okay, sausage is a bit fatty. <laughs> mm. Okay. Give me give, give me just one minute, okay? Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> so depending on who cooks the beans, the recipe they use, um, there's like a whole range of flavor you can get through. Um, can be more on sweet side, more on savory side, can be more, more acidic from the tomatoes maybe. Mm. This is just top notch for me, even cold. I, I can't imagine how good it will get after warming up, after the sauce gets really nice and smooth and mm. even bacon, very nice. Um, I think what we call bochak, and it's translated to bacon, it might not necessarily be exact same cut as bacon in the States or bacon in UK or whatever. But this nice layered mix of meat and fat and just these perfect little chunks that gives you flavour, that gives you texture, but don't overwhelm you or take over the, 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 the beans. Mm. I am not disappointed. I'm very happy. Um, <clears throat> so the beans are cooked through. They're very soft, but not mushy. Um, they give you that nice starchiness. Uh, and they've been cooked for long enough in the tomato sauce that they absorb all the flavor. So each bite you go through, you get a mouthful of, of spices, of deliciousness and then sausage and bake uh, and, and bochak um, gives it a little something to bite into to add more texture oh my. Mm, my mouth still sings with the flavors oh. and um as it's comforting it's um because it's so starchy it's so soft it's something you can eat very easily. It just gets down, makes your tummy happy, makes you happy because you know, it feeds you, it tastes nice. And just, just okay, meal A, a winning combo for me, uh, especially you know with the chocolate we're about to taste. Just want the um, herbs to quiet in my mouth a little bit. What is spice with it actually? Um. Um, it's smoked bacon actually, so you can take that. Um, yeah, the just just nondescript dried um, dried vegetables and spices, sugar, spices, salt, dried onion. Mm. Oh, but it's mighty delicious and and it's it's just how I like it. So they get top marks. Um, and then orange flavored hot chocolate. Ooh. It's quite dark chocolate. I can say the orange is very pronounced. It is there at the very end, but it's much chocolate. Um, it's not thick, but it's got a nice proper mouth feel to it. Smooth. And definitely dark chocolate. 
if dark chocolate is not your thing, um, you will want to dump your sugar into this instead of coffee. For me though, it's um, perfect brain happy making drink. Um, and I'm like this close to being unable to talk anymore uh, because of how happy this food makes me so far. Um, we're about to probably to hit a, a, a disappointment soon, but so far, mm, <coughs> it's definitely food, a uh, mix of flavors and textures that tickle my brain the right way. Oh, so delicious, so delicious. Okay, okay, let's go on. Let's and, and remember, this is cold. This is cold. It can be even cold, but it's meant to taste best when hot. So take that into consideration. Meal B. Uh, meal B would be the meatball. Let's just get into it. Um, and if you remember, meatball is um, half and half pork shoulder and beef shoulder. I need to go a better way for close-ups. Uh, and it's in tomato sauce with some veggies. Mm. Mm. Now this is where we start getting disappointed. Because <coughs> it's a bit... It's a bit bland, actually. Um, <clears throat> it's quite dense and a bit gritty too. I think some of it would go away, um, heating up, just loosen up a bit. Um, but it's my one gripe with uh, this sort of dish. It's not bad, but compare those two, um, you get the complex flavors, mix of textures, a very delicious part of this, and you get four meatballs that are just okay. It's kind of like <coughs> someone, like some people think that if you give someone a piece of meat, you don't have to put as much effort into making it nice. You do need to put even more effort. This is delicious, this is okay. Um, it's not bad, to be honest, but just... Um, this is make me happy meal. This is get it down and get moving meal. So, uh, And especially since for this they pair it up with the hot tack. Um, and technically, if you put if you crumble your hot tack and put it in the sauce at the very beginning, it may soak up a tiny little bit of the sauce, but not much. It just it's actually grow on you as a snack. Um, a little bit sweet of cumin seeds to help, you know, um, digestion. Something to keep your mouth occupied, something that will take time to <clears throat> bite through. Um, so if, like, if you're hungry but you know you can't have a meal for some time, this will have full your brain because you know you'll be chewing for quite some time. Hmm. It actually tastes quite nice too.
as I said, I just can't see. Um, I can see crisp bread being dipped into you know a sauce and soaking that up. I just can't imagine this being eaten as a pair as a part of any meal, just something you eat on its own. Um, so then we get the isotonic also with this meal B. Mm. It's lemony and mineral. Um, it's not as bad as some others, where you can taste the salt. Um, this just. I know, some, I know some people drink isotonics like water and it's supposed to have all the sugars and um, minerals your muscles need during um, physical exertion. I just can't get over the flavor. <laughs> it just kills me because you taste the, the minerals, the chemicals that go into you. I'm not saying they're bad, okay? But you can taste them and that's not the flavor I like. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we got a very nice breakfast then lunch or dinner just dips um yeah meatballs this uh, and just I would probably grab a piece of something like this like my cereal bar um, to make myself happier mm-hmm mm mm. Very nice mix of cereal, of dried food, um, and cranberries are very there. Um, that little bit of tartness of them. They're not very tart, they're not very acidic, but a little bit of tartness behind all that sweetness. And again, nothing sticks. So that's safe in your pocket, on your person. Okay, okay, um, I'm not exactly happy with the meatballs, but I can live with that. The rest of the stuff is okay for now. So, meal C. So, our evening meal. Uh, we go back to crisp bread. Um, with some, with some jam, actually. Traditional jam would be just fruits cooked out with sugar to help jellyfy them. Nice strawberry jam. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay. Um. That's a bit too sweet for my liking, but I. I had a pretty low tolerance for sugar, so don't mind me. <clears throat> I can always take another bite of a bread to bring it down. Mm. That's a very nice, natural tasting fruitiness. Um, I said sugar to boost you up. Quite nice actually. I said not my favorite, but and I think we forgot to have some fruit uh, with the meatballs. That's strawberries. Oh, yeah. okay. Cherries. Um, take bits of apple and banana and uh, pineapple too. Um, so they're quite nice, but they're not as dry as I think they should be. Hmm. Um, a little bit of easy snack to get your fruit in. Yeah. 
Um, they're not as dry as they could be, I think. Hmm. Okay. Again. Okay, and then rehydrate them to eat rehydrated fruit. Put in the hot water to have a pretty drink. Options, man. Options. Options are always nice. So, tea with the um, lime flavor at and green tea concentrate. Oh yeah, that's, that's green tea in there. Um, it's tiny amount, but the flavor is there. Uh, um, between those two, between those two, I still think I prefer the um, pure black tea with lemon than this combo. Not sure why, just it's like the balance a bit off of lime and green tea. It just doesn't mesh too nice, in my opinion. Okay. It might be perfectly fine with that. Okay, so the last thing for our supper. Okay, I think I want to clean my knife a little bit because because cleanness. Okay, um, so this is the English stew, gulasz angielski, which is like a pork thing. Okay. Um, Maybe just pork with some starch, add it and salt and white pepper, I think it says. It's like processed pork. Ah, the light in here. Mm. It's a very nice sandwich. Mm. Um, you can see all the jelly around. Essential thing, meat from the ju juice from the meats congealing out the fats and stuff. I want to try it some of it just on its own because um, rye gets a little bit of flavor. Hmm. Okay, so um, it's not too smooth, it's a bit of a coarse grind. Um, and basically it's just pork with salt and pepper. Um, it's plain enough that it tastes um it's not it's not a big flavour that would knock your socks off, but it's not bland, it's just simple clean flavour. The flavor matches very nicely with squeezed bread. It's a very nice sandwich. Um, sometimes I prefer finishing my meats on different kind of bread, but for this, the crisp bread is a very nice pairing. Adds a little bit of different flavor. Mm. Okay, um, so it seems we sort of finish on a high note. Okay, so time for small desserts. Some coffee. Yeah, just show it some coffee. Mm. Mm. Um, not nicest item. Had the best even in Russians. This is just um. Okay, um, it's not bad, 
um, I think what, what doesn't suit me um, is that it's closer in flavor to a regular coffee than like the, the little chunks of freeze-dried co of, of instant coffee um, it's quite dark I think yeah just 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 not my kind of not my kind of coffee and I think if you added less water it might be even nicer so we got chocolate So the dark chocolate I usually get at store has a bit harder texture, it's a bit um, crunchier. And this is almost soft, like when you get fake chocolate product, but the flavor is there for, for dark chocolate, so it's a very very interesting curious combination and I, and I, I, live, here. I live for that. chocolate is definitely a treat actually a morale booster especially compared to this <laughs> oh, okay this is like third or fourth time I'm having this bar so let's see if it's maybe growing on me I know. It's just the bottom is cereal, um, get it together with ganache or something, and then you get that squishy jelly on top, and then it's in chocolate. And flavor-wise, it's not terrible, but the mix of textures just, mmm. Who thought? That's gonna be a good idea. Who thought that's gonna be a good idea? Because it's it's not. <laughs> it's absolutely not. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Um, <clears throat> uh, all in all, I think this might be uh, one of my favorites. 24 hour Polish Russians uh, because even though the meatballs are kind of meh they're not bad uh, and the rest of it really really lives up to start um, there's like three meals connected to uh, this sort of mass feeding you know like Let's say there's a fence army with built kitchen and feeding people. Um, there would be krochówka or split pea soup. It's very thick with sorry, bacon in it and just sausage in it and deliciousness. Then you get bigos or hunter steer and sometimes you get um, beans. Um, and beans definitely live up to my standard. Whereas bigos does not. Um, we had bigos in um, single Russian and it's way too overcooked, way too mushy. This this is just mm, top scores. Delicious pate. Simple but delicious English stew. Um, as I said, it's not big flavor. It's not punching your mouth. It's not garlicky. It's nothing. It's clean. It's simple and pairs up nicely with anything. Just the meatballs are kind of. Um, it can be, let's keep that, sorry about that, um, let's keep in mind, it can be because I'm eating cold, you know, uh, warmed up, they made really small flavor, I don't know, um, we'll see about that something during the week, 
and I will let you know if that changes my opinion on them. Uh, other than that, it's a very, very nice uh, Russian pack. Uh, I'm not going to have candy or chewing gum right now because I want to finish this up after I go off. But again, um, these are nice. If you want a little boost of um, caffeine and can't have a can't have a drink, this will kick you up. Um, is that a little chewing gum? Uh, I wish we went uh, the way some countries do when you get different mix of chewing gum. I'm not sure exactly who did that just now, but they got like spearmint, peppermint, and one other, and each each um, chewing gum is different. But still, uh, banana is a little good for your teeth, you know, uh, to keep all hygiene on the move, and then vitamin C candy, a little pick me up, even if it doesn't give you, you know like loads of vitamins, still and an, a nice smile. Um, yeah, if you can get your hands on this one, please do, because um, it's definitely worth it, even for the small dip, like, you know, in, I mean, maybe this kind of meatballs is your thing, okay? You'll be happy. Um, I think <clears throat> if we focus on what's unique to this particular menu, so, you know, the two meat cans and two mains, um, the small dip in flavor food nets in meatballs, but the rest of it is top notch. So, and it doesn't always happen. Um, from what I remember about our po about our earlier Polish Russians, they often undersalted. They kind of bland. Um, not this case. It's just boring, but you know, in a different way. So it's definitely. Um, a good quality thing and yeah the, the the whole bag weighs quite a bit um i don't know if you ever move to um the aluminium tin cans for the for the 24 hour rations um you know the, the kind of aluminium tins that come in single meal rations but yeah for a full day worth of food um it doesn't tell you in the package but uh, across different countries, 24 hour meals, 24 hour packs go for about three and a half to 4,000 calories. So that's about what you get if you ate and drank and drank. Um, all that's included. So for a civilian, uh, without doing any strange activity, this can be a food for a couple days, two, maybe three days if you stretch it. Um, so yeah that may also be you know like an idea for um stashing if you want to prep or something um anyway this was a look into individual research um, nostrava srg6 individual food russian srg6 um a russian pack meant to feed one soldier for one full day um, issued in Polish army and so far I think it's one of the better tasting ones yeah I, I, I just need to, I need to figure out how to sign off on these trips <laughs> um, thank you for joining me hope you enjoyed this hope you learned something uh, if you wonder where you can get Russians please check your um, I mean, there's eBay, there's all sorts of um, private uh, private ads posting sites, like whatever is equivalent of Gumtree. Gum, I think it's Gumtree in the country. In Poland, we got Olix, um, Allegro, a little bit. Even Vinted, if you're in Europe. Um, all the places where people sell old used clothes, you know, um, this girl lacing out her clothes and her boy comes back from army, brings Russian packs, she she, she just puts them on as well, so uh, that, that, that's the way to get them. 
Um, yeah, so this was today, Poland. I'll see you where we go next week. If you want to help me, cheers. There's a Google poll down below the video. If not, um, there might be a poll on Twitter, I think, this week. We'll see about that. Okay, enough bubble. Enough bubble. Um, you must be getting bored. Um, thank you again. See you next week. Add it out. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys.